OnePlus is back with new OnePlus Nord 2 5G. And this time around they brought a few upgrades that could make this one a true flagship killer. But we have heard this term flagship killer time and again this year. Does the Nord 2 5G have what it takes to join the audience? If you're familiar with last year's OnePlus Nord, the OnePlus Nord 2 5G might give you some deja vu. It has the same size, weight, and shape as the first model. The OnePlus Nord 2 5G is offered in new cool finishes. You can choose between matte, leather-like, or glossy for its rear Gorilla Glass 5 panel. The Nord 2 box looks brilliant, and it's screaming a killer phone inside. The porcelain-like finish covers the curved back panel made from Gorilla Glass 5. A soft, transparent case. SIM ejector tool. Click Start Guide, and you will see OnePlus stickers as well. You'll find a 65-watt charger, a proper 6.5 amp rated USB-C cable. Nord 2 5G comes in four color variants, Blue Haze, Gray Sierra, Green Woods, and Pac-Man. You will get two memory variants options for OnePlus Nord 2 5G, 8 gigabytes of RAM plus 128 gigabytes of storage and 12 gigabytes of RAM plus 256 gigabytes of storage. This smartphone supports dual nano SIM connectivity along with 5G support. OnePlus Nord 2 5G height is about 15.91 centimeters. Width is about 7.33 centimeters. Thickness is about 0.82 centimeters. And weight is about 189 grams. It's quite catchy and does a decent job at hiding fingerprints. And the chrome accent on the two-step camera bump, the glossy frame is made from plastic and offers a decent grip. Nord 2 5G has an alert slider that lets you switch between sound, vibrate, and mute modes. The Nord 2 5G brings a pair of stereo speakers. One's at the bottom and the other doubles as the earpiece. The speakers are very good. Still, this is a nice improvement overall from last year's single speaker. OnePlus Nord 2 5G has a 6.43 inches fluid AMOLED display with a resolution of 2400 by 1080 pixels. 20 is to 9 panel has 90 hertz refresh rate and 410 ppi pixel density. It also supports sRGB and Display P3. There is an under display fingerprint reader for biometrics and is quite accurate and responsive. It isn't always on by default unless you have the ambient display enabled. You need to use the power button to wake up the screen first. The interface of the OnePlus Nord 2 is Oxygen OS 11.3 based on Android 11. This time around, OnePlus decided to go for a Mediate chipset in its Nord model. Rather than one from Qualcomm, it's Mediatek Density 1200, which is the most powerful chipset, and it provides 5G connectivity. Performance-wise is just about on par with the Snapdragon 780 and 870 chipsets. Not quite top flagship grade, but right up there in the charts. As far as the thermals go, the Nord 2 does a decent job. It is throttle under prolonged stress, but was able to maintain decent performance about 76% of the maximum. This is not a dedicated gaming phone, but you should be able to play all the heavy games without any problem. It also has dual view video mode. The OnePlus Nord 2 5G battery life is very good considering the battery's 450 mAh power capacity. It was able to score an endurance rating of 102 hours. But even more impressive is the charging speed. The Nord 2 5G brings OnePlus Warp Charge technology, which combines a 65-watt adapter with a battery that's split into two cells that charge simultaneously. Warp Charge is incredibly fast. The phone is able to charge from 0 to 98 in half an hour. Nord 2 features AI triple rear camera setup with Sony IMX766 50 megapixel primary sensor, plus 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor, plus 2 megapixel mono sensor. The main camera supports 4K video recording at 30 FPS and 1080 recording at 30 FPS and 60 FPS. You can take high quality selfies with 32 megapixel with front camera that also supports 1080 pixel video recording at 30 FPS and 60 FPS. You can also record slow motion and time-lapse videos. 